Hello and greetings from the team. Our project is based on application of deep neural networks for the real-time detection of arrhythmia using variable ECG signal analysis. Our project team members are Mr. V. Sashank Reddy, Mr. Sankesh Botraji, Ms. Surabhi B. Sheshadri and Mr. Suhas TG. Our project ID as shown in the top right corner is ProgGen2. Let me start by talking about the abstract of our project. As the title suggests, our project deals with the detection and classification of arrhythmia. Cardiac arrhythmia is a lethal disorder humans experience which can be fatal. Unless it is tested by the physician, one cannot be aware if he or she has arrhythmia because of its asymptomatic nature. I will talk about arrhythmia in brief in the next slide. We present a method by which cardiac arrhythmia can be detected and analyzed in real time by the user himself. It also provides a helping hand to the cardiologist and helps him decide on the appropriate treatment. Cardiac arrhythmia is a malfunction in the electrical impulses of the heart causing irregular heartbeat rhythms. Cardiac arrhythmia refers to a group of conditions that cause the heart to beat irregular, too slowly or too quickly. There are several categories of arrhythmia including bradycardia or a slow heartbeat, tachycardia or a fast heartbeat, irregular heartbeat also known as a flutter or a fibrillation, early heartbeat or a premature contraction. Most arrhythmias are not severe and do not cause complications. Some, however, can increase the risk of stroke or cardiac arrest. ECG signals are used to detect these anomalies in the heart. The pattern and periodicity of the ECG signals are used to analyze the condition of arrhythmia. The figure below shows the slow, fast and irregular heartbeats. Coming to the objective of our project, our main objective is accurate real-time detection of arrhythmia via a portable device. It also aims at helping the user monitor his or her heart's health on a regular basis. Now, coming to the methodology of the project, it can be stated as follows. The ECG sensors are connected to the patient. These sensors send the ECG signals to the microcontroller which further sends it to the PC. The signal is processed. The copy of the data is made for storage and the original signal is given to the CNN model. The output of the CNN model tells us about any irregularity present in the user's heart. This is pictorially represented in the following process flow diagram. The hardware used for the project include an Arduino Uno, an ECG sensor AD8232 single ED ECG, and a PC. The electrodes connected to the ECG sensor record the ECG signals of the user's heart. These signals are then sent to the microprocessor for digitalization and then sent to the PC for further processing. The digital signal from the ECG sensor and the microcontroller is read by the computer in real time and the following operations are performed to give us results. Pre-processing of the signal, providing the process signal to the CNN model, and obtaining the predicted classification from the model. The input data is very noisy and cannot be used to obtain accurate predictions from the CNN model. Hence, to enhance the signal quality, we perform the following operations. One, filtering the signal using a second order Savitsky Golai filter. Two, normalization of data between the range of zero to one. And three, splitting up of data into individual heartbeats as opposed to a single stream of several heartbeats. Here, we can see the outputs obtained after each step in the processing algorithm. The filtering algorithm eliminates the noise from the input signal. Then the normalization algorithm changes the signal to lie between a range 0 to 1. And finally, the splitting algorithm separates and provides the individual heartbeats. The CNN model is trained on the MIT BIH dataset, which contains ECG readings of 48 patients, which equals to about 109,000 heartbeats. The individual processed heartbeats are then fed to the CNN model one heartbeat at a time. The output of the model will be a class, which is a number ranging from 0 to 4. 
Each class contains a number of heart diseases as we can see below. For example, if the user is diagnosed with a class 0, it means they have a normal heartbeat and that their heart is healthy. But if the user is diagnosed, let's say a class 3, it means he is likely to have a premature ventricular contraction and needs to see the doctor whenever he can. Here is the CNN model that has been used. It contains several 1D convolution layers with varying kernel sizes and units, a max pooling layer after every 1D convolution layer, and finally, a dropout layer following the max pooling. Finally, we have a few dense layers, which is connected to a softmax layer, which gives us a single output. This output is the predicted class of the provided heartbeat. The model was trained for 15 epochs and achieved an accuracy of 98.63 with a validation accuracy of 98.68. Both these accuracies being so similar is essential to ensure that the results will be just as accurate in future predictions also. The societal relevance of the project is as follows. It helps every household to check the health of their hearts on a regular basis without having to visit the doctor each time. Although this cannot replace an ECG analysis by a trained doctor completely, it provides a head start for detecting any sort of heart-related conditions. Also, it can help a doctor narrow down the possible heart conditions, leading to better diagnoses and treatments. The users we aim to target with this project are people who are in an age group which is prone to heart diseases, where it is not severe enough yet to be noticed by the person, elderly people who have pre-diagnosed conditions, where our device can regularly check if the condition has resurfaced and whether it is mild or severe. And last but not least, the common man by helping him or her stay aware about the condition of their heart. Talking about conclusion and future scope, the project predicts arrhythmia in real time and also classifies the type of arrhythmia with an adequate accuracy. A patent is going to be filed and a product is in the making. In the future, plans of improving the accuracy and reducing costs to make it more affordable have been made. With regards to publications, the paper is ready and is in the internal review process for publishing in the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers Association, commonly known as IEEE. We are currently in the process of shortlisting of appropriate conferences. This slide talks about the references or bibliography. The list of references have been listed below. Thank you.